Hey everybody, so in the last video we talked about reshaping our data and we reshaped the data so that they're in long form instead of wide form. In this video we want to talk about changing the values in the cells um, so that they make more sense for analysis. Uh, one thing that we said about the data is that we have the strange year identifier variable where we have both the year and then a space and then the year in brackets. And then also we have the values for our main variable of interest here, female labor force participation as uh, in character format. And we want those to be in numeric format. And our year variable should probably be either a date or in numeric format. In this video, we're just gonna change it into numeric format and uh, we'll talk about dates later on in the course. So in order to do this, we're gonna be using two key functions from the dplyr package, mutate and mutate at. Mutate is the function anytime you wanna change a variable, you wanna change the format of a variable, or you wanna manipulate the variable so that um, it's like multiplied by another variable. Um, anytime you wanna change a variable, you're gonna be using mutate mutate at is just the version of mutate you want to use when you want to do the same thing to multiple variables at the same time. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We can start a new section in our Quarto document and we can call it truncating strings and changing variable types. And then we can add some text and we can say a little bit about what we're going to do. We are going to transform two string variables into numeric uh, type. And along the way, we are going to truncate one of our strings, which is going to be our year variable. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a code chunk. And we can go ahead and we can label it. Let's just call it truncate. And so what we're going to do if we want to write a comment here is to fix year and FLFP variables. Okay. And we'll go ahead and what we're going to do is we're going to overwrite our existing wb underscore data data frame by changing what is in the existing wb underscore data data frame. So uh, we'll write wb underscore data and then an assignment operator and then wb underscore data again, uh, signifying that we want to transform this wb underscore data data frame and then um, create, basically overwrite what's in the existing data frame. Okay, so then we're going to call mutate and we're going to call, we're going to use the substring function from base R to transform this year variable so that it's just the year as opposed to year space bracket and then year again. Okay, so we want to truncate this, uh, take a substring so that we're only seeing the first four characters of this string. So we're going to say year equals substring. So substring is going to take three arguments. First, the variable that we want to transform, which is going to be year. Then the index number of the first character that we want to extract then the index number of the last character that we want to extract. So that's going to be one and then four because one is the first, uh, the index number of the first character and four is the index number of the fourth character and we want the first four characters of year, right? So that we have 1973 or 74 or 1975 or 1976, all right? And remember that R is indexed from the number one. So unlike Python or some other languages which have zero based indexing, um, anytime we want to identify uh, the first 
number in an index, it's going to be 1, not 0. All right. So once we finish that, um, we want to add another pipe operator because we want to continue to manipulate the data frame that we're working on. And um, we're going to call here mutate at. So again, this is when we want to change, do the same thing to more than one variable. We're going to call mutate at. And here we're going to change both year and female labor force participation and transform them to numeric variables. So then we're going to use the combine function to tell R that we want to apply mutate at to two variables. We want to apply it to both year and female labor force participation. Okay. And then what do we want to do to those variables? We want to change them to numeric. So we're just going to say as dot numeric, comma, as dot numeric. Okay. And that is basically it. So after we're done with that, we'll go ahead and view the data with our glimpse function. All right. And let's run that and see if it worked. Okay, and it's telling us NA is introduced by coercion, and that is fine. That just means that there's a lot of missing data. Um, but what we want to see here is that we have numeric variables. So these are now doubles. Year and female labor force participation are now doubles, which is a numeric format. And we see that the year variable is truncated in the way that we wanted it to be truncated. So what R did here was first to turn this into a substring. It truncated the string and then it converted the year variable into numeric while at the same time changing female labor force participation into numeric. And if we want to just kind of make sure that everything is right, we can click on the data frame and we can scroll down here and we can see, yes, that we do have data from female labor force participation. Um, it's just missing for a lot of countries, but that's fine. So now and we're almost done. The last step we have to take is to transform these variable names into snake case. And to do that, I'm going to show you a really cool function uh, called the clean names function from the janitor package. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. And we can start a new section in our Quarto document and we can call it uh, cleaning variable names. Add some text here. As a last step, we will clean up our variable names so that they are in snake case using the clean names function from the backtick backtick janitor package All right and we'll go ahead and add a code chunk and we can label our code chunk whatever we like but uh, let's call it something like clean names and um, here we are going to apply clean names to World Bank data. Okay, store in new data frame called World Bank data clean. So we're going to create a new data frame called World Bank underscore data underscore clean or WB underscore data underscore clean and we're going to create that by modifying our WB underscore data data frame and the only thing we're going to do here is apply the clean names function but before we do that actually I missed one step here so we want to go back up and we want to load the janitor package before we do anything because otherwise this function won't work. So let's call um, library 
and janitor package and you should have this installed as per the pre-work plan for this lesson um, so first step is to load the janitor package and then we're just going to apply the clean names function to our world bank data right and that should give us some nice clean names one additional step I'd like to take here is to show you how to write this back into a CSV file that we that can then use in subsequent analysis uh, or send to people if they want things in a in a CSV format. So let's write the World Bank data clean data frame to a CSV file. And we're going to do that with the write CSV function from the read our package. And uh, we have to identify first uh, parameter here is what uh, data frame do you want to write to CSV? And then you have to give the path and the file name where you want to store this. So we're going to put this in our data folder here in our uh, modules project folder so data forward slash WB and we can call it the same thing underscore data underscore clean dot CSV okay and then the last thing is we want to view the data just to make sure everything came out okay so we'll go ahead and view WB underscore data underscore clean and uh, I'm instinctively saving this as we go along, as you should too, uh, hitting Control S or Command S along the way. All right, and um, that all looks right. Let's run it and see if everything works. Okay, and yep, look, we didn't even have to specify what names we wanted for these variables. The clean names function just took care of it for us. So it turned country space name, which was in title case, into snake case, and then replaced the space with an underscore for us. Um, same thing with country code, series name, series code, right? Um, automatically. So that's a really cool and useful function uh, for wrangling data. All right, and then uh, let's look here in our folder, our data folder, and make sure that our new CSV file is there. There you go, wb underscore data underscore clean dot CSV. And if we went into, um, you know, Excel um, or some other program that would read the CSV file for us or show us the CSV file, um, we would see uh, essentially something that looks like this, right? Our data in long form, uh, all of the variable names in snake case and year and female labor force participation rate variables in numeric format, everything else as a character variable. Uh, it should show us something like that. Okay, and then as a final step, guys, let's go ahead and just uh, render this so that we can look at the final HTML document and uh, and that's what it looks like. And again, remember that is the point of Quarto is to integrate our text and our code. Um, so it's always good at the end, you know, of any exercise to go ahead and render the document and see what the either HTML or PDF document looks like.